Hey, this is Dan at the Young Chang R&D Institute. In this video, I'm going to show you the ALG page and how to use the Cascade feature. ALG editing is supported by both the Forte and the Forte SE. I'll demonstrate on the Forte's color LCD. By default, each layer of audio and vast is stacked and mixed together when played. You can think of this as an ensemble with each instrument contributing to the total sound. Alternatively, when we use the cascade feature, the audio signal is processed through multiple layers before sounding. You can think of this as playing an electric guitar through an effect box and mixer. Each part of the signal chain does not output a sound, instead the sound is altered through each stage until the final output. Let's take a look at the ALG page. Press edit and then press the more soft button twice. Press the ALG soft button. The wiring here is the algorithm, or ALG. This is the audio signal chain for the current layer. The wiring routes through DSP functions. The DSP functions are synthesis tools like filters, oscillators, and shapers. You can assign these DSP functions along your signal chain to modify your sound. DSP blocks vary in size based on the resources they use. Blocks can be 1, 2, 3, or 4 slots long. I'm moving to the algorithm field and toggling the presets. These presets contain a variety of ALG wirings and block sizes to allow for different signal routings. Now let's take a look at a simple one-layer wiring combination. I'm selecting algorithm 6. This gives me a wiring pathway with dual two-slot DSP functions. Let's put an oscillator in the first block and a filter in the second block. The audio signal moves left to right. This is why I'm placing the oscillator to the left of the filter. Let's assign pulse width modulation to the first block. The sound currently has a quick decay on the amp envelope. DSP oscillators need user envelopes for proper envelope control. I'm switching from natural to a user envelope on the amp envelope page. Now let's go to the key map page and set the key maps to none. This will prevent sample envelopes from being used. Great. Now let's move back to the ALG page. I'm choosing the empty DSP box to the right of the pulse width modulation. Let's scroll through the DSP functions to select the two-pole low-pass filter. We can already hear the frequency cut off on this filter. If you press edit while the DSP function is highlighted, you'll be directed to the DSP control page where you can adjust the filter cutoff. Cool. Now what if the DSP functions you'd like to use don't fit on the same layer? We can solve this problem by cascading one layer into another. Let's start by selecting algorithm 5. You'll notice that this 4 slot DSP function takes up the whole layer. Let's pick out the triple saw as our oscillator. Nice. Now let's create a second layer for this program by pressing the dupe layer soft button. This duplicated our first layer, and now we just need to make a few changes. To cascade audio from layer 1 to layer 2, we need to choose an algorithm that can accept audio from an outside layer. The ALGs starting at 101 are the same as the ALGs starting at 1, except the wiring goes around the pitch box. This wiring can receive alternative input instead of the pitch from this layer. I'm highlighting the ALT input field. I'm changing the input from none to layer 1. This newly created layer 2 is now receiving audio from layer 1. Let's choose ALG 105 so we can use a 4-slot DSP function, just like the 4-slot function on algorithm 5. I'm adding a 4-pole Moog filter to this block. When I play, we'll hear both the filtered and unfiltered triple saw. This is because layer 1 and 2 are both producing sound simultaneously. In order to only hear the output of layer 2, we need to turn down the amp volume of layer 1. Switch back to layer 1 using the channel zone buttons. Press the more soft button to navigate to the DSP control soft button. I'm navigating to the level field and changing the level to negative 96 to completely turn down the volume. Now when I play, we'll only hear the output of layer 2, which is the combination of layer 1's triple saw through layer 2's 4-pole Moog filter.
Cool. Now let's assign a controller to the filter frequency. On the Layer 2 DSP mod page, select the Low Pass Frequency field. In the Source 1 field, assign controller A. Let's set the depth to 7200 cents, or 6 octaves. Now we can modulate the filter. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials.